E. So a quick overview on um, some quadrimesher tricks. So here's a mesh that I want to quadrimesh. So I've gone through and uh, painted some face groups and I've used the smooth tool to um, get these these edges nice and soft. So I can actually show you up here, see how this is looking a bit uh, crooked. If I relax that, you can see that I can get that edge to be fairly smooth. You know, smooth enough that it would be a useful guide for quad remeshing. Um, so if I run that, so you go quad remesh and uh, do it on this at 10,000. Uh, it'll look not bad, but we get a few sort of slightly strange artifacts and that's due to a few reasons. So see how like through here, it's getting quite messy. Uh, up here, it's getting quite messy as well. Um, oftentimes when that happens, it's worth a closer look. Uh, so if I say smooth on this, you can see that it's got this like, sort of slightly weird, weird layout. Um, but if, if I uh, undo to before the quad remesh and have a closer look, um, you can see that uh, there's actually a face in there, you can probably barely make it out, but if I look in there, you can see that I've got a couple of faces that have um, a different face group that will throw the algorithm. So when you have things like that, you want to make sure that that's all painted out. So I might just go through and you know, splodge it back like that. I'll clean this back up the other way. Uh, run and relax. And that will generally sort of help. Um, but uh, so if I quad remesh that again, that should be smoother through there. Yep. Uh, but you can see actually there's still something slightly funky going on. If I again try and sort of smooth that out, we'll probably, probably be able to see it. So there's still this, this, this triangle face in there. Um, what I found as well is if you have um, harsh edges, um, like really sort of sharp, like massively sharp creases, that will also um, unduly affect the algorithm. So what I might do is I might even sort of go through and you know, try and smooth out these transitions just a little bit to, to help the, the algorithm. Um, and we'll see how that does. You can see there's some more really harsh edges through here, but you also see that this this, this triangle layout that came from smoothing, um, from bullying the shapes together and then um, face grouping and then smoothing, it makes these uh, funky layouts with all these like sort of like sort of looping, whirling shapes that just um, the algorithm doesn't like at all. So if I try that again, probably find this still um, gets weird results no matter what I do. Yeah, you can see that's that's all pretty messy. Um, and there's another errant face in there that I, that I had to fix up. Uh, the trick that um, the Stefan Nomad's developer worked out is um, this layout you see that when you run the smooth you get these sort of um kind of non-standard looking polygons so if i were to sort of just run a smooth brush on this and see that that's what it should be a nice smooth layout but when you when when you when you relax the face group edges it gives you a nice edge but it's sort of tearing the polygons on another side in strange ways um the quick fix the the trick for those issues and these issues and these like sort of kind of so sort of looping issues is to run a decimate first. So if I uh, go to the decimate menu, so under the topology menu, misc and then decimate, and see how I've got uh, face group turned on at 50% and um, this option, which is to make the faces be as uniform as they can be. I might even just turn it back down to its default and go decimate at least once. And you see that um, the triangles to either side are much more even but it keeps these nice clean edges. Uh, and so if I kind of zoom back and turn off the wireframe, you see that we've still got you know, pretty good looking face group edges, but um, all this sort of like weird triangulation stuff mostly goes away. In fact, what I'll often do is, I'll, I'll, so is blah, words. if I can see that um, this is getting like a little bit too narrow through here, there's not quite enough polygons to make this be a nice clean loop. I'll just paint in a few extra ones, relax that again, and then I might even, Try and paint that up a little bit better, so it's a nice, clean, smooth edge. Helps to turn, you know, to flip between wireframe on and wireframe off, just to keep track of what's going on. Might even soften that a little bit, just so it's not quite so harsh. So just a bit of smooth, and then another decimate. You can see that's now starting to get a bit more regular. Anyway, we're getting these kind of like, um, sort of like, difference of like small and big faces can sometimes cause issues, but we'll see how we do. Also fix up the stuff that's going on through here. See, this was getting, whoops, 
turn off the face groups. If this is just a little bit too sharp, um, it doesn't work too nicely with the algorithm. So you know you don't want to you know, um, de sharpen everything, but you just want to give the algorithm a chance to be able to smooth things out. So that edge should be smooth regardless. Uh, I might do one more decimate just to see if I can calm that down any. Yeah, one more. So this is still you know enough detail to capture the base cage, um, but the edges overall are much more relaxed. So if I try a quad remesh on this now, we should get, fingers crossed, a much better result. Yeah. Um, what I've noticed is um, if I don't do that, um, the algorithm will often put like holes in some places or will sort of bunch up polygons where I don't want them to. Another kind of strange stuff. I mean, if I look closer, there's still a few kind of strange things. So like this is getting a bit strange through there. But usually by this stage, this is where I go, you know what, it's good enough and I can sort of smooth it out a touch and it's okay. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, it's triangles where I wouldn't like them to be, but um, this is now getting below my threshold of caring. Um, so yeah, so that's the trick. Uh, smooth the face group edges, but they'll make slightly twisted polygons. Uh, a decimate should clean that up and then the quad remesh is usually much happier.